once again, I find myself wondering what these cheap Walmart on-brand wireless Bluetooth Groove headphones sound like compared to a cheap $5 headset that sounds like you have soda cans on your head. And the microphone sounds like crap. Claims the fame up to 14 hours of battery life. We'll see. These were only $14, by the way. On-ear headphones, built-in microphone, up to 33 feet of wireless range, Bluetooth technology, high-definition sound, uh, lightweight and compatible, collapsible basics. Here you go. Built-in specs. Specs. <laughs> The specs is, um, yeah, Bluetooth, voice assist support, uh, built-in microphone. What's in the box? A 3.5 millimeter Lux jack, I mean, aux jack. Um, the earphones, micro USB, really? You're going to use, still be using micro USB? Idiots. And uh, one starter guide. Really? Micro USB. So we have the 3.5 millimeter jacks. We have the crappy old technology micro USB. And then we have the piece of resistance. What are those? Lavender instead of purple? Is that lavender instead of purple? Oh, look. Look at this. How fancy. One wire is going from one side to the other. That's, that's great. Oh. Alright. Here's what they look like. They look like donuts. These look like donuts. Don't they look like donuts? They are so cute, though. It looks like little round donuts. They are so adorably cute. It's a mystery Bluetooth standard. It does not say. There's a first for me, I guess. Let's see what they feel like on the head. I do give them credit that it has soft padding, but on the other hand... Um... <laughs> um... It feels like I got a vice clamp on my head. It really squeezes your head. Alright, let's see if this is actually recording with the Bluetooth microphone. Test, one, two, one, two, three, test. And my phone is reporting that it is connected and battery is charged to 100%. Interesting. All right. I'm going to look there and see what my phone says about the uh, Bluetooth connection. They sound good. I'm not going to lie. They actually sound really good. It's got the right amount of bass, treble. They sound like a pr... No, these are good. These are really good. They sound really good. Your girl's impressed. Mic check. These groove on. Bluetooth. Headset. Just want to see what they sound like when they're connected to my Chromebook which has a older uh, Bluetooth standard than my phone that has advanced Bluetooth standards. So this is only a test. This is only a test of the Angel Broadcasting System. And this is only a test. Yeah, how do these things sound? Um, like I said, there's going to be a video of them. This is just a $14 Groove on Walmart branded Bluetooth headset. All right. We are recording with the on branded headsets, and I just try to use them on my PC. Um, doing a Second Life group call, and uh, that was a tragic waste of my time. Yeah, no, they didn't work very well, so I hope they're working now because. The weird part about it is everybody sounded like they were on a old uh, transistor AM radio. 
and there was buzzing going on and um, it was like it would you know how you would tune an AM radio and you have like a lot of uh, electrical noise with the buzzing you would tune it to just buzz then it will tune back to the people tune it was like weird like that I don't know I mean for $14 these things are good because it does work on this phone pretty well. Um, it works on uh, the Chromebook and stuff. But however, however, here's here's the however now. The battery meter is inconsistent on these things. And now the audio sounds very echoey when I have it connected to this phone. So... There's a lot of weird inconsistencies. I don't even know what the um, Bluetooth specification is on these. Okay, now I have the Bluetooth speaker hooked up, which sounded horrible. I'm talking about horrible on uh, my computer. Once again, just want to focus on the clouds here. Because I'm able to keep the Bluetooth speaker out of the wind. So... All right, I'm able to keep it out of the wind. And uh, so this is what this sounds like. I cannot believe that this speaker sounds like garbage on my desktop. So yeah, I was going to um, hook them up to uh, this desktop and record some with Audacity, but they're still not acting right. And the on-brand keeps on disconnecting. I don't know why. It's the same thing with this old phone. It keeps disconnecting. It was a bear to get it connected on this old phone. So, um, yeah, I'm still using the Bluetooth speaker, by the way. So, like I said, I was going to do a test, record with the Audacity and compare it between the Bluetooth speaker and the other Bluetooth device. This, this is not Bluetooth. This is its own wireless technology, so I can't use that as a control. So... This video is becoming very hard to do because I don't have any other Bluetooth um, headsets or any other Bluetooth earphones that has microphones and stuff. So I can't judge it on this modern computer. So sucks because I was going to use it with Audacity and record some. Anyways, back to the review and testing. Hello everybody! I got the battery meter up right here, and as you can see, it's still saying 80% battery. I know now that they are lower in battery, but they stopped displaying battery information at 80%, which is weird. So it might have a defected chip, or it may be a poorly programmed communication chip. However, for $14, I don't expect much, right? So, do I waste my time standing in line at a Walmart to try to exchange something because the battery information is not right? Because they do work. Or do I just charge them like I charge my, uh, you know, my gaming headset, which does not have a battery indicator as well? So, that's the question, right? Yeah, and if these things were on Windows, you know what Windows 11 does? It sits there and jumps from 80 to 100, 80 to 100. It's very strange. Okay, this is a test once again on my Chromebook using the on branded headset. It's weird. Testing these things has been weird. Now, as a whole, if you're using them for like a Chromebook or uh, a phone, everything's going to be okay, right? You may have trouble on Windows 11. That's all I'm saying. Either it's the, the Bluetooth card or it's Windows 11 itself. It's got a Bluetooth issue. So, your mileage may vary on Windows 11 on that forefront. Or if you have a cheap Intel a Bluetooth 
solution and that may be an issue too so yeah so yeah so pop tarts for you everybody gets a pop tart s'mores pop tart and um yeah sucks i give these a four out of five they sound good they're great with telephone calls they work great on my phone. They work great on this Chromebook. Um, had trouble with an older phone. And uh, the three tests I was running on Windows 11, these things has failed several times. Like I said, I think it might be the Bluetooth card from Intel that's in my machine, or it's a Windows 11 issue. But, and then aside from the battery issues, with the, um, not displaying the proper, um, battery information. Yours may not do that. But, for $14, yes, they beat a $5 pair of wired headphones. Yes. Yes, they do. They are good. So, do I recommend them? Yeah, if you're using them on your phone, of course. If you're using them on like a Chromebook or a laptop, of course. Just be aware that I was having problems on Windows 11 with these. But then again, that was a desktop. And the solution that ASRock built into the motherboard may not be a good one. So, and you may have okay experience on it. So, what... Okay, they fell over, so that's good. So, yeah, I recommend people buying them. I mean, they sound good. They work great. They're cheap. They're a great solution. But uh, if you really want a better solution, buy something more expensive. I'm sure you can probably get one for $20, $25 that are better than these. But for the price... They'd be good for kids, teens, and something cheap to um, use. After I wore them for a little while, they started feeling better on the head. They're comfortable. And you know what, though? For the price point, these could have been awful. But they're not awful. So, I do recommend people getting them. If you don't have much to spend on headsets, $14, they're worth it. They're worth it. For what they are, good microphone, good sounding um, headphones. Yeah. Four out of five stars, they're worth it. This also comes in white. They have uh, tan and they have black. Take care, everybody. Peace, love, and hugs. And be kind to each other. I love you all.